If you've been gaming for a while now, then you must have realized that there's more to picking a gaming monitor than just considering what size you want. There are many display specifications you should look for in a monitor, and one of the most important ones is response time. This one is especially true for gaming, so if you're a gamer, then stick around to find out what response times really are and which one is the best for you. Let's start with the most basic question. What is response time? What this term actually refers to is the pixel response time, or how quickly it takes a pixel to change from black to white. This is what's known as true response time. But sometimes manufacturers will advertise the time it takes for a pixel to change from one shade of gray to another. This gray to gray response time is just a marketing strategy used to advertise displays in such a way that makes them look superior, but don't be fooled. The actual black to white response time will always always be higher than the grey to grey one they might use to attract your attention. So now that we know how response times function, let's look at how this will affect the image. To put it simply, the response time will determine the clarity and accuracy of the moving objects that are being displayed. The higher a monitor's response time is, the more trouble it'll have displaying moving objects. The faster the movement is, the worse the image will be. And what you're left with when this happens are motion blurring and ghosting. Motion blurring is usually the first thing you'll notice. This happens with camera movements, especially fast ones. The pixels will not have enough time to change colors properly so the display will show you a blurry image to compensate. And this can be a very serious problem for people who get motion sickness. The second thing we mentioned was ghosting, and the principle behind this is the same. Fast camera movements, the pixels can't keep up. So what you get is that when an object is moving on the screen, it's being followed by its own fading silhouette. So it sounds pretty simple, right? Lower is always better. So go as low as you can if you're a gamer seeking the best possible experience. Well, not exactly. You see, there's a catch. And it actually has nothing to do with the response time itself, but rather with the technology used in manufacturing these monitors. Most modern monitors will use one of these two types of panels, twisted pneumatic or in-plane switching. We'll refer to these as TN and IPS. And both of these come with some advantages as well as disadvantages. TN panels offer the lowest response time of only one millisecond, while the lowest IPS panels can go as four milliseconds. But this leads us to a very important question. Can you see the difference? It's kind of like the FPS dilemma in that way. Some people consider 30 FPS to be unplayable, while others don't really see the difference between 30 and 60 FPS. The same thing applies to response times. Although if you've used a 1 millisecond monitor for a long time, then switching to a 4 millisecond monitor might be a bit too high for you. So how can you check this? Our advice is to do it in person. Most big hardware stores will have monitors on display for customers to test. But you can even do this from the comfort of your own home. How? You ask with just a little help from your TV. TVs generally have a higher response time than monitors because it's really not that important for them. In fact, manufacturers often don't even include the TV's response times in the specification sheets, but it's generally somewhere between 8 and 15 milliseconds for most TVs. It'll definitely be higher than the 4 milliseconds of an IPS monitor and that's all that matters. We'd like to finish this video by saying that a 1 millisecond monitor may not be the best choice for you even if you can see the difference between 1 millisecond and 4 milliseconds. This again has to do with the panels, but without getting into the technicalities, you can look at them like this. A TN panel has the better response time, but an IPS panel has better viewing angles and better color reproduction. With this in mind, we can only really recommend 1 millisecond TN monitors to competitive gamers who really need every advantage they can get. But if you don't need this extra edge, then a 4 millisecond response time is a small price to pay for the superior visuals that IPS monitors bring to the table. And there you have it, the best monitor response time for gaming. You may have wanted to see one of these two response times beat the other, but this is the most precise answer. They're both better at something. Another thing that you may want to learn something about if you're in the market for a new monitor is the refresh rate. We've made a whole video on these, so make sure to check it out if you find this video helpful. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.